Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series of the object oriented programming with the Java. Our today's topic for this particular video uh, that is a string class, string buffer class and the string builder class. I am your instructor Mr. Ankit Patel. Welcome you all to the video series of the object oriented programming. So let's start with the our outline of the today's lecture. So our first outline for the today lecture that is a string class. Next that is a string buffer class. Next that is a string builder class. So now let's start with the string class. So what is the use of the string class in the Java? So string is a class. It is a not a data type. That is the first thing that is clear in your mind. So suppose if you want to use a if you want to print a set of character so rather than you are using a character of array you can just use a string class so string basically it is used for this sequence of character so, so what is a string so that represent the character string means suppose if you want to print your name if you want to print your address or you want to perform a different different operation on the string so if you are using a string class so that is easy to handle with the programming so here the uh, string class is a immutable immutable means we cannot modify this string whenever you are declaring a string you cannot modify that string suppose if you are insert data you are concatting that string the original data of string cannot be changed so here the string that is a part of the java dot language package and can provide the lots of method uh, to work on this string and there are the different different method we are using for the operation on the string so our first method for the string uh, string class method so these are the different different method available in the string so the first method that is the caret method so again these are the uh, some method that i will explain in this particular video again there are the more method also available in the string class but i am discussing some of the method of the uh, string class that are mostly we are using in the programming so the first method that is a caret method now what is the use of the caret method suppose if you are passing a caret argument a one to so this method will return in the form of the character so suppose if you are if we have a string like s1 so you are using like s1 dot caret 0 so this will return the 0 index character if you are passing like 5 so it will return the fifth character in your string so caret it is a nothing but it this method will return the character at the specific index now next method that is a compare to method this method is used for the comparison of the string but difference uh, the main use of this method that this method is written in the form of the integer suppose if both the string s1 and s2 so, so how to use this string like s1 dot compare to in bracket s2 if both string are equal then this will return in the form of the integer otherwise this will return in the form of the positive and negative value this will different the ascii value of the character same as a next method is a compare to ignore case and this method basically it will consider as a uppercase letter and small case letter as are the same letter next method is concat it is used for the concatenation i will explain you most of this method the example in this video so i am just explaining this particular uh, the that what are the different different method available in the uh, string class and what is the use of that method same as a concatenation what is the use of the concatenation it will concat the two string with the use of this particular method same as the next uh, or method that is end with if you want to check uh, a string that is end with the specific character or specific string then it will return in the form of the boolean and boolean is a data type that will return in the form of the value true and false so this method is used to check the is there any string that is end with the xyz is there any string that is end with the abc or whatever you want to check just pass in the method argument x method that is equals now again this method is used for the comparison purpose but what is the difference between that? as i told you the second method is also used compared to it is also used for the comparison function 
but what is the use of this method equals method it will return the boolean value of the string means suppose if you are writing like s1 dot equal s2 so this will return in the form of the true false not the integer value and same as the next method that is the equal ignore case that is again it will return in the form of the boolean value but this will ignoring the case like upper case letter and small case letter both are the same now next method uh, in a string class uh, these are the a uh, length now length method as this method length means what this will return the number of character in your string suppose if you are writing s1 length so this will return the length of the character in a string s1 in the form of the integer and same as the last two method that is a two lower case and two upper case this method is help us to convert the case of the character in a upper case as well as lower case so these are the list of method again i will tell you uh, that these are not all the method i am covering in this particular video because these are the some method that most probably these are the method that we are using in the programming there are the again lots of method available but all the method is not possible to explain in this particular video now our next that is the i will explain you the different different example of the string method so that is our next topic that what are the different method mostly we are using in the programming so i will explain with the specific example that is our next topic that is the string class example so our first example that is of the length method as i told you what it will return the length method the return the length of the string so here there is example like our first string that is welcome now our next variable i am using that is integer length and i am just writing like length is equals to s1 dot length so what is the value of length it is nothing but the length of the s1 that is a welcome length number of character in the welcome that is a 7 so this will return this will print the output like length of the string is equal to 7 now next method Uh, that is a two upper case method as i told you this method is used for the converting the letter lower case letter and all the letter in the upper case and this is the example of this string that is a string s1 is equals to welcome to java programming and i am just writing like s2 is equals to i am using another string s2 and s2 is equals to s1 dot two upper case so if you are printing the value of s2 so this will print the upper case letter welcome to the java program so again i am told you string is immutable we cannot modify the values so i am explicitly assign the s1 dot to upper case value to the s2 that's why i use another string suppose if you are writing in a system dot out dot print lang just s1 dot to upper case so it will not change the value of s1 it will not change the value of s1 it will uh, only just printing the answer but once again if you are writing like system dot out dot print and s1 it will print your original data you can execute this program in one i will also explain with the pro in my programming section all this method so now our next method example that is the equals method so as i told you what is the use of the equals method for the comparison purpose so now here i have taken two string s1 and s2 and both the value of the string s1 and s2 are the same so now suppose if you are using a equal method in a if case so suppose if you are writing like if s1 dot equal s2 so this method will return in the form of the true and false if this condition is satisfied then the message will be print both string are same if the string s1 and s2 are not same then the else portion will be executed like both the string are not same so this is the example of equal same my next example for the string class that is a compare to function as i told you what is the difference between this method compare to and equals so here once again i have taken the two string s1 and s2 uh, both the value of the s1 and s2 is a welcome and suppose if you are using in a comparison like in a if case so s1 dot compare to s2 but we have to pass like equals to equals to 0 because this method will return in the form of the integer so this is the difference between equals method and compare to method only difference that is the return type and if the both the string are equal then this will return the zero 
else it will return the any positive negative value so according to the message will be received both the message uh, string are not equal so these are the different different example of the uh, string class now our next topic in this particular video that is a string buffer class so what is the use of the string buffer class so here and what is the difference between string class and string buffer class where we use a string buffer class that i will explain you so here the string buffer class means what so it is an mutable that is the main difference between string and string buffer the string buffer class is mutable means you can change the value of the string so as i told you in a string class you cannot modify the value but here you can change the data so that is the main advantage of the string buffer class so string buffer class in the java as same as a string but class is except it is a mutable that it can changeable so let's start with the uh, different different uh, method of the uh, string buffer class so these are the method of the string buffer class but make sure all the written type most of the method is in the form of the synchronized method what do you mean by the synchronization uh, that in detail we are i am explaining you in the multi threaded chapter but in this particular video i will explain what we are writing uh, in a synchronized means what the method is a uh, not thread safe means you cannot use this method in a multi threading what do you mean by the multi threading you can too many process simultaneously execute the different different method of the string class but here synchronization means what one process when a one process and the use of the particular method then the second process have a chance to enter into the critical section so synchronization is nothing but you have only at a time only one process can use this particular method so obviously the processing speed of this string buffer method is low compared to string method so here the different different method of the string the first method that is the append append it is used for the appending the uh, character or appending the string to the one string and is used to specially suppose if you have the string like s1 dot append abc abc is attached at the end of the string same as the next method is the insert so this method is not available in the string class method insert it is used inserting the specific character in the specific index like suppose if you want to insert suppose my string is ankit and i want to insert an after the an hello so you can insert a specific character and you can modify the string next is the replace it is used for the replacing the character of the so string and next same for the delete you can also delete the string as well as you can also reverse the string so that is a uh, method of the string buffer uh, these are the again the rest of the method of the string buffer class are not synchronized but we can use in a string buffer this method has not synchronized the method is a capacity so here the buffer is there so there is some capacity of the buffer the default capacity of buffer is a 16 i will explain with the example next is a caret that is the same as in a string class method this will return the character at the specific index length obviously it will return the length of the string that is the number of character in your string substring is there substring it is used to find out a check a particular string that is a part of the string or not and these are the different different uh, method of the string buffer class So let's start with the example of the uh, string buffer class. So here, these are the uh, I have written one simple program uh, with the uh, I am using the different different string buffer method. So I have created one class that is a string buffer demo, and one main function is that that is a public static environment. And the structure of the our simple program that I have already explained in my last video. You can refer my last video if you have don't know about the what you mean by the public static environment. What is the use of the system dot out dot println? So you can refer my last video. But in this particular program, I have written uh, one class that is a string buffer demo. And in this particular program, I have created one object of the string buffer class. How to create the object? Just write down the class name, name of the object. Is equals to new string buffer. 
so i am passing this value in a my argument of the constructor that is a string buffer sb is equals to new string buffer hello i am using a first method of the string that is append i want to append the data in the end of the string so you can just write down sp dot append word and this will simply uh, if you are printing the result this output is i also return that is a print hello world this will return now next method that is uh, use of the insert suppose if you want to insert something between this string like my next object that is a string buffer 2 and i am uh, passing there is a hello and i want to insert the word the let string word between the hello so just pass the argument sb2 dot insert one comma word again you print the result you can see the result of the string same as the uh, next method i have using that is a replace method you can replace a specific word with the uh, specific index like uh, in this particular video uh, you can see the replace one comma three comma word that means it is start from the one index to the three index one two three index all the character are deleted and replaced with the new that is a word so our new word is changed with the hello that is a h word l hope you understand this method now next method that is the delete you want if you want to delete this character from the string just pass the delete one comma 3 or 2 comma 3 or whatever the number of character start with the index you can delete it same as a next our uh, method that is the reverse if you want to reverse the string you can easily reverse you no need to explicitly assign the data to the another string because the string is a mutable you can modify your data same as the next example it is used for the capacity method and i will show you what do you mean by the capacity our default capacity for the buffer is a 16 you can see in the example i have not pass any argument like in sb6 i have not pass and the default capacity is 16 but suppose in a next example in sb7 i have append one string that is a java is a good programming language the buffer size is automatically increase so how the answer will get a 34 because what is the last capacity of the buffer that is a 16 because it is a default and the number of character in the java is a good programming language that is a greater than 16 so the buffer size is increase when it is greater than 16 it will automatically increase with the 2 into last capacity of the buffer plus 2 what is the last capacity of the buffer 16 so 16 into 2 that is a 32 plus 2 that is a 34 that's why we get the result uh, like that so this is the end of the string buffer example class and the last topic in our video that is a string buffer a string builder class so what is the use of the string builder class so here i am just explaining about the string builder class because the string builder and the string buffer both are the most probably all the method of are the same so i am not explaining you all this method of the string builder class but what is a string builder it is the same as a string buffer and that is to the object in a heap and it can also be modified but what is the main difference between the string buffer and the string builder that is a string builder is a not a thread say means the method of the string buffer are not synchronized means you can use a method in a multi threading this can two or more processes are simultaneously accessing the method of the string builder class here the string builder is fast as fast compared to thread save because it is a thread save it is a faster than the string buffer because it is a thread not a thread save is many processes simultaneously accessing the data that's why we can tell like that it is a faster than the string buffer class and same as i already told you that a string builder method is the same as a string buffer method but not any method is in a synchronization so this is our end of our video thank you very much if you have any doubt you can feel free to ask me thank you very much